Noobs, give us a team that was brutal last year, that was bad, that missed the postseason, that you think could exceed expectations this coming year. It's, again, I hate repeating myself. I was really um, high on the possibility of what the Orlando Magic could do last year. Um, bet them actually to make the playoffs at a big number. Obviously, didn't work out, but I'm going to go back to the well here. It is a young team, really talented. I like what their coach was able to do in building this team. Ben Caro fits in perfectly. He's going to be a really nice piece on, again, what is a deep young roster and what we see every year in the regular season. Deep young rosters do well. Having the ability to be able to put some guys in when they get hurt over and over again is a huge advantage. They're really strong at the guard spot. And then when you look at their division, I just don't feel as good about some of the teams that they're going to be playing four times a year. We just talked about the Miami Heat. I'm down on them. The Atlanta Hawks, I think, is a team that's going to take a step back here this year. Um, the Wizards aren't going to be terribly good. The Hornets have a tough schedule. So there's just a lot of opportunity for a young sort of plucky team to take a step forward. And, you know, I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs, but I'll be playing that for a little bit of money and a big number. I like their regular season win total over. I have them about three, four wins higher than the market does right now. And then to win their division is a huge, huge, huge number. Play that for a little bit. You're going to have a ton of equity at the end of the season because I think the Magic are going to be kind of in the middle of this division and threatening to be a play-in team in the East.